All right, so let's get into it. Um, so let's start with Tesla. Shout out to my guy, Marlon Smith. Yeah. So my son played a game yesterday, and he played against his team. So if you don't know who Marlon is, he's actually a New York City street legend. Well, I don't even call him a street legend. He's a New York City basketball legend. He um, went to Malloy High School, and then he went to Penn State. And I remember Marlon, crazy thing, it's crazy how life works. So I, I used to play for the Gauchos and play in this tournament, Gauchos um, Round Ball to- Classic. And I was probably around like 13, 14. And he was young. I remember he was like 11. He was younger than us, but he played with us. And I just couldn't understand how somebody was that good. Like, it was just amazing to me. Like, his ball control, like how he was moving, like, it, it was just, you know, you just see somebody who's just like, just above the beyond better god given ability yeah like yeah. He, and i'll never forget that it was like 20 something years ago and i still remember just being in awe of how good he was so long story short he ended up going penn state you know high level d1 but now he's a coach so i see him and um and and now he's in business and he's invests so after the game he's like we had a 15 minute conversation he was like yo tell ian to talk about tesla like he always <laughs> talks about google he always talk about microsoft and apple he was like you got to understand Tesla is about to take over. And then he gave me a whole long list of things. He was like, it's, it's not a car company. It's a tech company and da, 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 da. And, and they, they about to, you know, they, they perfectly positioning themselves to run the whole situation. And he's obviously a very high level advocate for Tesla. Yeah. So with that being said, I told him that we would talk about Tesla. Yes, we got So you. Let's talk about Tesla. So, um, let's do it. Yeah, so he's obviously extremely bullish, but everybody's not bullish on Tesla. A famed analyst is expecting a steep decline in uh, Tesla's stock. According to his estimate, um, Tesla's stock could potentially go down to $50 per share. Um, so, wow, that's interesting. Wow. So let's let's have a whole full-fledged conversation about Tesla, shall we? Yes. Um Marlon, I appreciate you. Uh, Tesla is one of my favorite companies. One of the reasons I don't talk about it is like one of our R star picks in Stock Club, but I do love it. The strength is it is a combination of tech and energy combined into one that uses the veneer of automotive to innovate. I do love the company. I talked about this um, in Toronto. The only major concern, if I'm looking at a slot analysis of Tesla, is the weaknesses are e- lack of Elon's focus. I think the acquisition of Twitter wasn't the best. It was bought it for forty-four billion, but it's probably worth twenty-four to fourteen billion. Um, he has as many kids as Nick Cannon does, so his extracurricular activities are pretty damn high. But I, I need the company to focus more. Like if I look look at the metrics of the business, the profit margin is fifteen percent, gross margin is twenty-five point six percent, return on equity is twenty-one percent. For all the fanfare that they have and all the brand equity that they have, their margins are not big enough. Like if you look at NVIDIA, which we'll talk about later, gross margins are 57%. And that new chip came out. It's about to put some pressure on the market. But I think in the EV space, they are hands down the leader. Um, Daniel had asked me, is there anybody else that I would invest in in the EV space? And hands down, I think the only player in EV is Tesla. So great company. Um, market cap, amazing revenue, 95 uh, billion. The cyber truck looks amazing. I like what they're doing there. They're finally going to roll that out. And they also have put in uh, place a policy where you cannot immediately sell it within inside of a year. So there's some sustainability in that model. I like what they're doing. Like I have a, a one year target for them at like 410 bucks. I don't think it will go down to 50 bucks. Like that's too far. I can see it going down to 84. Worst case scenario, $79.23. But to go to 50, impossible. Like almost, if it does, I would easily park six figures there if it went down to 50. But I, it's less than a 1% chance it will ever go that low. But the, the company needs to focus, Need be, needs better leadership, needs to roll out products a lot faster, and they have to work on those uh, profit margins. I kept saying last year and earlier this year, you cannot be a luxury company and then drop price to scale does not matter we work tried to do the same thing and they collapsed like and with inflation going up i think toyota has a car that's coming out it's like 110 grand an suv that looks like the rolls royce yeah like everyone is going to have to move into a higher price market and higher price services m- a model to be able to sustain like if interest rates are going to continue to be this high you can't sell based on price because not only are you going to lose market share 
it's the worst way to compete in business, but also too, um, you won't be able to have any money to redevelop or invest into the business to make the business and products better. So I hope they find their way. Um, the stock has come down a lot over the last year and a half. But 50 bucks is damn near impossible for them to go to. Yeah, 50 is is pretty pretty drastic. But I mean, you made a lot of good points for a, uh, a bear case, right? Like when, when we talk about uh, interest rates being yeah. longer over a time period, that affects the car sales. But even interest, I, I, I looked it up, man. The, the consumer interest has declined for the past six straight quarters. They were yeah. once the number one uh, ranked shop luxury brand. They have fallen back, particularly the, the Model S has fallen back 10% in shopping consideration, yeah. which is something that you have to take into to consideration when you're thinking about what product that you're putting out. Uh, they've also had production decline, right? We, we saw over the past quarter, uh, and we talked about that pretty extensively about when you yeah. change pricing and try to get more vehicles bought, but they've spent a lot of time on this Cybertruck, and the Cybertruck isn't here. In fact, did you talk about you can't buy? They actually put a, a new rule in with the Cybertruck that there's a fine if you try to sell it. A year after purchase so that, that's unprecedented right like after you buy it if you try to sell it within 12 months there is a fifty thousand dollar fine for selling it which is interesting crazy um, but smart pretty smart but yeah. competition um i know they're the by far the leader in the ev space definitely here in america but the base that they have to find and to have greater margin is china and yeah. evs are being built and companies that are being created and flourishing uh you talk about having four models where a company like byd has 30 models right and so if you're talking about lower prices and more models to choose from there's competition in that space again they are by far the leader in the space but competition is there um and so there, there's a, a bear case to be spoken of 50 dollars is completely oh, drastic but insane. if we do see a pullback because I, I, when I look at Tesla and I think about it, yes, it's, it's more than an EV company. It's a tech company, obviously, disguised as one. But we know how interest rates have affected tech companies. Yeah. And, and there is talks of recession in 2024. I was I was hearing some 100% chances over the weekend. These these things have to be taken in, into consideration when we're Correct. talking about the future outlook. I always Tesla has always been something that's been volatile you know, over the pandemic, for sure. And so to drop, initially when I saw the question, I thought a drop in $50, I'm like, eh, that's not bad. We, we've seen it have those type of moves, but to go down to $50 a share, I think is a bit much, a bit much.